Let me give you another example. So let's say you're trying to determine whether whether this thing will um, will converge or whether it will diverge. Well, to do this, um, do you remember our section on um, on linear approximation. Sine sine of x looks like this, and near near x equals zero, you can approximate it to a straight line. So we've actually seen this. Uh, sine x is approximately uh, so this straight line is y equals x. So 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 we've seen this before near near x equals zero. So whenever you have sine something and the, and this something heads towards zero, which it does in our case, look as n tends to infinity, as n gets bigger and bigger, this whole thing here will, will just get smaller and smaller and smaller. So so you in a way have sine of something that's getting smaller and smaller. Don't forget you've got squared. Um, well. Here, here we've got a case where this bubble here is getting smaller and smaller. So whenever you have a, whenever you have sine some sine something that gets smaller and smaller. So let let's say seven x squared. Um, if you have seven x squared and you know seven x squared heads towards zero, then then you automatically well you you will automatically jump to this. So this whole thing here can be considered as this if you know that uh, if you happen to know that. Um, that this thing heads towards zero. So in our case, e even though n is increasing, n is increasing, but, but n is increasing, but this thing here is decreasing. This thing here is actually heading towards zero. So we know this thing here is heading towards zero. Because we know it's heading towards zero, we can actually consider, well, this thing here, it is heading towards zero. So because it's heading towards zero, we can consider this whole thing here as this thing here. So, so to, to, to um, to, to determine whether this thing will converge or if this thing will diverge, we will consider this thing here because we know that this will head towards zero. So, uh, so visualize this thing here as this. So, um, so this thing here is, is, is very similar to this thing here as n tends to infinity. So you can consider this as being very similar to this. So now, the minute you see this, you should be, by now, be able to recognize that this thing here will converge. Because in your mind, you would visualize this. And we've done this many, many times. So by the, well, by the time you get to here, you should, well, you should see that, you should see that this is this. And, um, and you know that this thing here is converge, is going to converge. Uh, the minute you see 1 over n, uh, n equals 1, uh, or infinity. The minute you see this, you should know that this is going to diverge. Well, this thing here is going to converge, meaning this thing here is going to uh, to converge. Well, if this thing here converge, this will converge. That will mean this will also converge. Okay.